This is the step-by-step -step tutorial for the office traffic signal. In the previous video, I showed you how to install the sensors, stack light, and Raspberry Pi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Neo System Designer to create services to power this operation. So once you're in the System Designer, the first thing you want to do is create a system. I'm going to call this system Traffic Signal. So the system is composed of different instances. For us, our instance is just one Raspberry Pi. If you'd like to know more about how to install Neo on a Raspberry Pi, you can check out our blog. So I'll fill out this instance with the data of, I know from the Raspberry Pi, and I'll configure it. Once this Raspberry Pi is, is configured, we can create a service inside of it. I will name this service Traffic Signal. Since I've already created this service, I have some blocks already configured. So basically the service needs to do is it needs to read two sensors and if someone is in either of the zones below the sensor, if, there's, if motion is detected, it will toggle the color of the traffic light. So the first thing we need to do that is to create a signal so that the, sig so that the sensors can be read. So I'm going to create a sig uh, using a simulator block. I will pull the GPIO pins every half second to check for motion. So once we have our signals generated, we need to read some sensors. So I have two blocks I've created. One for the north motion sensor, which is at GPO pin number 17. And one for the south motion sensor, there's a GPIO pin number 18. So I'll connect the simulator block to these GPIO read blocks so that every half second, the GPIOs, these specific GPIO pins will be read and see if there's any motion. Since the output of this GPIO block is just a value signal, both of them will be the same. To make it easier for troubleshooting, I've, I've created two modifier blocks, one for each sensor, so that I can tell which sensor is being triggered at a certain time. Inside this modifier block, I'm simply just renaming the signal that is coming through, one for the north sensor and one for the south sensor. Since I have two, uh, two streams of signals, I need to merge them back together so that I can perform an oper the operation of toggling the light color. So for that, I'm gonna use a merge stream block called Merge Sensor, and I'll take each of the outputs, the outputs of both of these GPIO blocks, merge them together. And once I have the two streams together, I wanna to do some action. So I have created a GPIO block that toggles the stack light based on if a sensor has been triggered or not. So this is a GPIO pin number 27 is connected to the relay for the stack light. And I have some logic so that if one of the sensors is true, if there's someone present in either of the zone, the, the GPIO will be tr sent true so that the stack light will turn from green to red, from normally open to normally closed. And since uh, currently with the relay, whenever it's powered on, the stack light will just be green. And I don't really like that operation, so I've created another mini service, I guess, that once the service starts, it just sends one signal to turn on the traffic light. So this pin is number 22. And it, the GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi is number 22. And it just turns on the relay so that the stack light turns the power on on the service start. And once I hit start on this service, we'll have a working traffic light. 